Okay, today's been like a crazy day already and it's 4.43 in the afternoon and this is the first time I've been vlogging. If that tells you how crazy it's been. So we had errands to run this morning, which are super fun to vlog, which is why we didn't. So we had errands to run and now Josh is taking our truck to get our tonneau cover fixed because it flipped off on the highway in Montana. I'm at the post office. I'm about to run to the grocery store because we're going on a little road trip tomorrow and I'm going to make, there he is. I'm going to make this tuna salad smoked on the Traeger. I need some ingredients for it. So when we were down in Louisiana deep sea fishing a few months ago, we caught a bunch of yellowfin tuna and we brought 50 pounds of it home in the airport, or the airplane. Just throw it in a cooler and pay your $20 um, checked bag fee. So we have a lot of tuna, so I'm gonna smoke all that. We're gonna go vote, which will be fun. Absentee voting, so we're gonna be out of town. And then, well, truck, pick Josh up, grocery store, post office. Oh, and then we're gonna go to the, get Josh a haircut, cause looks like a woolly mammoth. And then we're gonna go to the gym. Um, I have to, I'm going to film a video for Kayla, which is why I have my pretty bright Kayla ring on today. And then since we are traveling, we always record a ton of extra content. That way we have stuff to post gym related while we're out of town without necessarily access to a gym. So we're gonna film all that, pack, It'll be fun. So, post office, then the grocery store, then we're off. All right, so, I just had to pick up some stuff for this recipe. I had to get, I had to get drinks, duh. But, I had to get some lemon juice, some light mayonnaise, some crackers, some paprika, fun stuff. But, this recipe is super easy. Um, huge shout out to, Captain Eric, who was one of our captains when we were actually down in Louisiana, and we were eating tuna on the boat while we were catching tuna, and the recipe was incredible. So I texted him today, I'm like, please can I have the recipe? So he sent it over, and now I get to make it. And I'm the best wife in the world. Josh loves kombucha. So I got him one of those. And I got me a little drinky drink. Now I'm off to pick Josh up. We have a marketing call for one of our outdoor businesses on the way to get his haircut and go to the gym. So, should be fun. See you in the next clip. Is that how I do that? See you in the next clip. What do I always say about Columbus's license plates? The vanity plates. There's a ton of them. Yeah, there's two in a row. Look, there's one Easy right. to pray. Yep, and then whatever that one is. Four. Four Badams. Four of Badams. How's the kombucha? I love kombucha, it's so good. How's that flavor? I like this flavor. Yeah. Dingleberry? Dingleberries, the flavor. Look what we did. We got stickers. Stickers. Yes, we voted. Josh wrote my blue workout today. I basically have to do seven sets of banded straight leg deadlifts. I have to get up to 100. And then somewhere in the middle of that, when I'm sick of doing those, I'm going to be doing banded squats. And then back to deadlifts. And then I will be doing banded reverse hyperextension glute band lift thingies. And that's it, right? Just those three? Just those three? Uh, for now. Yeah. Pretty excited, because my matching game today, one point. As I mentioned in the first clip, I'll be performing 100 deadlifts through this workout. I broke it up into seven sets. So my first set, I probably did 15, and then I dropped to 12, 12, 12, 10, seven, etc. So do as many as you can. I also did some squats in between to help break it up. When doing straight leg deadlifts with the band, make sure you're always pushing against the bands outward with your knees. This will really help isolate your glutes. You'll also notice that I flip my right hand to the inside of the bar. I've found that this helps me lift more weight. So if you want to lift more weight, you could also try this as well. My next exercise was banded squats. I performed four sets of 10. If you're new to lifting, try it without the weight first, but still use the band. I used the light Bomar band for both banded exercises and you can order yours at bomarbands.com. 
Never let your knees go over your toes when squatting and push with the knees outward against the band. Okay, these were really, really, really hard. If your gym doesn't have a GHD machine, you can simply use a flat bench. I use the extra, extra light Bomar bands for this exercise. You want to pull your feet apart the entire time, even when you come back up. Your brain and body won't be used to this at first, so you need to fight it. Truly engage the mind-to-muscle connection for an incredible glute exercise. I finished with three sets of five. Okay, so like I mentioned yesterday, today I'm going to be making like a smoked tuna salad from our yellowfin tuna that we got while we were deep sea, deep sea fishing in Louisiana a few months ago. So last night I got out one, one bag. If I had to guess, probably about five pounds. Let me see if I can, yeah, it's probably about five pounds of yellowfin tuna. I obviously need to um, de-skin it and all that. You guys can do, do this with however much you want. I'm then gonna be putting some spices in it and then smoking it on the Traeger. If you don't have a Traeger, a smoker works just fine. However, the Traeger is phenomenal for this stuff. So let's get started. Excuse me. What? What? Oh, did I wake you up? Did I wake you up? I don't have anything for you. Maybe you get some tuna. I know that's what you want. So then once you skin it, it's going in, clean back. Let's just see what he said to do here. Captain Eric, okay. Tuna steaks go in the Ziploc bag, check. So then we do olive oil, salt, pepper, paprika, chili powder, and lemon juice. All right, so I got a few of those things yesterday. Okay. All right, so I'm not really sure exactly how much to do of each, so I'm just gonna do the remainder of my olive oil, which is probably about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons. Just kind of winging this. Some chili powder. Mm mm. Paprika. Pepper. A little salt. Seal the bag, shake and coat. While that is smoking, I'm gonna be editing a few videos, one of which is for Kalo rings. It's the ring that you guys always see me wear. Um, they just came out with three new colors today. By the time you're watching this, it'll probably be yesterday um, for women, which is really awesome. So I did a video for them last night. YouTube stuff, emails, getting caught up before we head out on our trip, so. Tuna off the Traeger. And now the fun parts. You can kind of just add whatever you want in this step. We've got pickles, hot sauce, some more spices, salt, pepper, light mayo, and a little more olive oil. Yeah. Okay, five pounds quickly turned into a lot, which is good. We have like a 17 hour drive. So, hold on, I got a Snapchat. So we're gonna add some light mayo. Something my mom always taught me, do it slowly. That way it's not overly mushy. If you've never had this, you need to order it right now. Ugh. 
ain't need no man around the house. Got it myself. Kidding. Kidding. Totally need you. Oh, this is gonna be the bomb. If there's. I got two kinds of crackers for us as well. These, and those, found them at Whole Foods. Should be delicious. 